Hello guys, uh, welcome all of you to today's farmcast and uh, thanks a lot for, for your wishes uh, for we completed 50 farmcasts yesterday, it's a half century and frankly speaking I, I did not think I would be able to do it uh, each and every day I mean to say uh, I was not confident enough that I will find time every day to make these farmcasts because they take a lot of time right to record, to edit, then upload, then post and I do all of these things myself but when I made a promise to you guys that I'll be doing at least 60 farmcasts right uh, 50 days back then I said to myself uh, let me not look at the uh, two months period or 60 days let me look at every day so I took it as a challenge for every day and day after day day after day day after day we have moved to 50 days and it seems to me sometimes as if I had started this yesterday so the message I'm trying to give you guys here is that whenever you look at your revision, the course uh, you are about to revise or, or you are revising, it might seem to be very vast and uh, if you sit and look at that course, you might get depressed. Right? So what you need to do is uh, take it day by day. Right? So set yourself targets every day and uh, take head on every day. So this is my today's target and I, I got to finish it for this day. So day after day, day after day, if you keep on continuing, you'll see that you'll finally reach there. All right, guys. So today also we'll be uh, doing five drugs of choice, uh, one class of monoclonal antibodies and a uh, few questions which are asked by you guys. So let us begin up with our drugs of choice. Uh, the first one is guys PCOS or PCOD, you know, right? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, now remember guys, PCOS treatment depends upon what are we targeting here, right? Uh, is the female of reproductive age group who is targeting uh, pregnancy? or if she is not targeting pregnancy, right? So if pregnancy is the aim, then obviously we'll go for an uh, ov ovulatory agent and the preferred drug nowadays is letrozole. Letrozole is the drug of choice for ovulation nowadays because it is much, much more effective as compared to the second line drug, which is clomiphen citrate. So first drug of choice, letrozole, second is clomiphen. If we are targeting pregnancy. Now, if you're not targeting pregnancy, in that case, uh, the drug of choice in PCOS are combined oral contraceptive pills, combined OCPs uh, and the aim here of using combined OCPs is to it will act as a contraception plus it will prevent endometrial hyperplasia plus it will treat uh, symptoms of PCOS like hirsutism right if a patient is not able to take combined OCPs uh, or they are contraindicated for example the patient is having high risk of thrombosis or uh, she is a candidate or high risk of breast cancer in that you know in that those cases we won't use estrogen in that case we'll go for intermittent progesterone or progestin therapy and uh, in case uh, the hirsutism is not res not responsive to ocps in that case you can also try spironolactone right now moving on to the second disorder guys peptic ulcer disease uh, see any any disorder related to stomach i've already told you in my lectures that the drug of choice are always PPIs or proton pump inhibitors are the drug of choice for any disorders and uh, to these uh, proton pump inhibitors you can all, all, always add on gastroprotective agents um, like your sucralfate which is the preferred gastroprotective agent bismuth can be added but bismuth is not as preferred as much preferred as uh, uh, your sucralfate bismuth is preferred if you are de dealing with H pylori also right uh, next disorder guys performance anxiety now this is an easy one guys performance anxiety the drug of choice are beta blockers like propranolol next disorder pericardiodesis right guys so even if it is pericardiodesis or pleurodesis now these are done for patients who are who are uh, having recurrent pneumothorax or recurrent cardiac tamponade so we need to obliterate the you know pleural space or pericardial space so we inject some sclerosing agents now the preferred sclerosing agent is doxycycline so don't get surprised it has sclerosing effect and it is injected into these cavities and that is how it is effective though we can also use talc talc is also commonly used the preferred one is doxycycline and the last disorder for today guys peripheral neuropathy say peripheral neuropathy there is no single drug of choice we need to cho choose a drug uh, based upon comorbidities right the, so there are three first line drugs tricyclic antidepressants uh, like nortriptyline or desipramine, SNRI like duloxetine and GABA releasing drugs like gabapentin and pregabalin. So how, how do I choose? For example, there is a patient of peripheral neuropathy and uh, the patient is elderly. 
Now, in elderly patients, you know that uh, I'll not use a TC, a tricyclic antidepressant or GABA releasing drug because these drugs they cause sedation, right? So I'll prefer an SNRI. Uh, if the patient is having depression, then I'll use either TCA or SNRI. If there is a patient uh, of peripheral neuropathy who is also having epilepsy, in that case, I'll go for GABA releasing drugs. So I'm getting the point. What I'm getting at is that in peripheral neuropathy, you will choose one of these drugs based upon the clinical profile of the patient. What, what are the comorbidities, what is the age, etc. Right? All right, so this is the, this our first part, drug of choice. Now coming to the second part, uh, where I discuss uh, monoclonal antibody. Um, today I'll discuss anti-CD25 or is also known as anti-interleukin-2 receptor monoclonal antibodies. There are two drugs, basiliximab and daclizumab. Basiliximab, B-A-S-I-L-I-X-I-M-A-B. Basiliximab, Guys, it is used for prevention of acute graft rejection, right? So it is used in graft rejection prophylaxis, acute graft rejection. Daclizumab, D-A-C-L-I-Z-U-M-A-B, right? It is uh, uh, not used in graft rejection, not approved. It is approved for multiple sclerosis. So these two drugs have been asked in your exams multiple times, which of the following is anti-CD25 monoclonal antibody or which is used in acute graft rejection. So your answer is basiliximab, right? Alright guys, now let's move on to our last part in the farmcast where I discuss some of your queries, right? Alright, uh, now coming to the first query. So, Surbi Todi. So, Surbi is asking, uh, Sir, my problem is that my scores are not improving, even uh, getting worse. Though I have completed my first revision, like I can't able to recall things and always stuck between two options in the test. Sir, what to do? See, Surbi, uh, it's quite surprising that even after doing your first revision, uh, you are not able to improve your score. And uh, see, if it is one or two grand tests that you have given and your score is not improving, it's not a big deal. Because sometimes, you know, what happens is during these last uh, few months, the grand tests, they are on the tougher side. They are deliberately made tougher by the institutes. Um, the grand test, which is more like your exam, is uh, the the grant is the last one just before the exam that is what the institutes they make which is quite similar to the exam that you are going to give but nevertheless don't lose hope and uh, see what happens usually is uh, why you are getting confused in between, in between two options the reason is your revision is not adequate what i mean to say you might be revising just for the heck of it that i am completing the revision that is that is how things does does not work what i mean to say is when you try to remember the facts and concepts what you need to do is when, when you revise it and when you close your eyes you should be able to recall all of these right an adequate revision what it does at the end of the day when you're through at least two to three revisions you should be able to flip through the pages of your notes and um, just by closing your eyes now that is that is what i call as an adequate revision so you have to work harder remember survey no, nothing is um, lost as of now there is still a lot of time and what you need to do, as I, I also, as I always, always mention, you need to revise while you're revising. Get, get the point, what I'm trying. You need to revise while you're revising, which means what? For students who are not able to remember things for a longer period of time, every day you need to keep one or one and a half hours to revise at least what you have studied yesterday and day before yesterday. So for example, what I'll do, I'll take one hour and I'll keep separately one hour uh, for things which I've revised yesterday. So what I'll do here, and I'll keep this one hour at last when I'm done with everything, right? So that one hour at last, what I'll do, for example, I, I'll finish my study for 10 hours at 9, 9 p.m. in the evening. So at 9 p.m. in the evening, what I'll do, I'll, I'll stop everything and I'll take my notes which I've studied yesterday and day before yesterday. And from those 60 minutes, what I'll do, 40 minutes, I'll try to flip through those notes which I've studied yesterday. And for 20 minutes, I'll try to flip through those notes which I've studied day before yesterday, which means what? In, it is going in triplets, right? So you are revising, and you are revising it again and again three times right continuously and you'll be able to do that because you have just revised it so this is actually something which i used to follow for pharma micro and biochemistry what is common among these, these three subjects all of you know these are volatile subjects no matter how much you study you always tend to forget so i used this method to master these three subjects and when i used it um you know the score was completely different in these subjects and uh, to tell you something there was a student right uh, many years back when there was state pg 
and he gave AIPG. In AIPG, his rank was uh, somewhere around 6,000, right? 6,000 rank in All India PG. And State PG used to happen after three months of AIPG, right? He was a student from Tamil Nadu, and I still remember his name. His name is uh, Raja Rajan Elumalai, right? And he wanted to do orthopedics. So 6,000 rank orthopedics was not possible. So he messaged me, sir, what to do? I'm not able to score. So then I asked him, how are you revising? So he said that, sir, I'm just revising. I would study, then I'll revise some other topics, then I'll revise some other topics. So I, I, I told to him, it's, it's not going to work that way. right? You, if you want to get down from 6,000 AIPG rank to some decent rank in your state PG, you need to revise while revising. So I, I told, him, told him this method, that you study, and then you revise every day for one hour, whatever you have studied yesterday, the day before yesterday. So he did this for three months. He did this for three months, guys. And in Tamil Nadu PG, he secured rank 60. He secured rank 60, yes. He picked up uh, or, uh, orthopedics. And I think this year or last year, he messaged me as well. That sir, I've completed my orthopedics. So, so you can imagine, guys, uh, it's just the way you need to strategize. So just, just uh, working hard is not important. Working smart is also important. So you need to extract more out of yourself. Because at the end of the day, what matters is how much things you remember right at the day of the exam and you need to concentrate all of those your efforts towards that so Surbi, do that what i'm saying there is still a lot of time and you will you will see that your score will improve like anything if you do this right uh now moving on to the next doubt guys uh, um abhishek's abhik sharma sorry Abhik Sharma is asking, sir, I'm a person who cannot stay focused for long hours by reading through notes. However, I can focus much more listening to the lectures again at 2x. Is it advisable to just watch the videos again and again till, till very last? Abhik, uh, I don't know. I mean, if you'll ask me personally, then I always prefer hard copy notes because I need something that, that will stick to my brain. Now, I, I don't know if these those videos will stick to your brain. For example, just... Uh, um, go through those videos, revise through those videos and see, sit for 10 minutes and try to recall whatever you have studied in those two hours. If you are able to recall those, then it's okay. And uh, how are you going to revise in the last one month? I mean, you will not be able to go through those videos in last one month. So you, you need to have some, uh, you know, data in the form of hard sheets, which you can uh, revise in the last one month. So I, I frankly speaking, I have no idea about re revising from videos because see, I, I did not have... Uh, that opportunity while I was preparing and frankly speaking if you ask my opinion then I personally think that it's not a good idea because I feel it would not be that much productive right but you have to take a call yourself and I told you the method by which you can decide it if you are studying for two hours going to the lectures sit close your eyes for 10 minutes and try to recall everything that you have revised now if you're able to revise I think you'll be fine right and second I would advise you if if you'll ask me again that sir uh, all right then what should i do if i want to revise my notes but i'm not able to focus for a longer period of time then break down your time like study your notes for two hours then solve mcqs for one hours then study for two hours then solve mcqs for one hour so you need to break it down like that or study for two hours then watch the tnd videos or the image based videos for one, one hour then study for two to three hours then do mcqs for one hour so you need to mix it up guys mix it up so that your interest is not lost right I guess coming to the next doubt that has been asked by VC. So VC is asking, uh, Sir, I've been doing my first revision and I'm halfway. I'm halfway through the first revision and I still do not feel the confidence in the subjects that I've revised and I'm always stuck with 50 percentile in the test. I take my rank is always half the takers and I get depressed. See VC, I'll also advise you to do the same, which I advised a short while ago, that you need to revise while you are revising, right? So keep one hour, keep one hour to revise whatever you have studied yesterday and day before yesterday. This will help you to retain things for a longer period of time. And you will see that lesser and lesser you would be confused in between two to three options. So your uh, performance is, is going to increase significantly if you follow the method that I told you. Uh, next doubt has been asked by Durga Rao Badisa. Good evening, sir. How to approach Harrison and Belly textbooks for final year student for UG exam and INI exam? Please clarify me. See, uh, Durga Rao Badisa, see whatever, uh, you know, you are following whatever platform, whatever it may be, then the teachers, they teach you concisely whatever matter is present in these books like Harrison and uh, in these books like, you know, the Sebastian or B B Bailey or whatever, whatever books you are following for medicine or surgery. Now what happens is, uh, 
for some topics if you are not confident enough even after going through these videos and notes then what you can do is you can for that topic for example you studied hyperkalemia and you are still not able to make out that how to treat hyperkalemia so you can go back to harrison and read selectively so uh, cover to cover reading harrison is not possible right within a very limited period of time now if, if you had started it in your third year to study gradually harrison then you could have finished it by final year so now if you have time you can go and if you don't have much time then you can choose selectively and go for those topics which are pretty commonly asked those disorders uh, which are more commonly seen in this world in our country at least right so you can uh, you know prioritize which topics you are going to study in harrison and while you study harrison try to make some notes out of those because otherwise it would be difficult for you to revise later um see the next doubt is being asked by azan sheikh and azan sheikh is asking sir i want to pick up surgery as my branch for future is it necessary for me to be a topper or can i grab a surgery seat on a decent rank see azan sheikh surgery goes up till very very low ranks like uh, even 3000 or 4000 rank they they also get surgery at a decent place because surgery is not um, you know the first line subjects nowadays um, it does not mean that toppers they don't pick surgery they do pick rank 3 or 4 or 5 they also do pick but uh, usually most of the students under 1000 or 2000 rank you will see they go for other subjects so surgery the number of seats is very uh, high and plus as it is not you know uh, you know not not being picked as a hot cake so even at a 3000 or 4000 rank you can get a good seat of surgery the the only reason why it is not being preferred nowadays because it is not an end branch and now it is um, we guys you guys are more anxious to settle down earlier right and surgery the the career is never ending like you need to do an ms surgery then mcs surgery and it keeps on rolling you need to do some other things right all right so you can get that all right or right, rithvik patnaik next audio is asked by rithvik patnaik is asking sir as an external what questions do you ask to second year students in their viva uh, rithvik i <laughs> i do not ask any questions in the vivas because simple reason i am not attached to any medical college right i'll tell you why see i started teaching when i was a first year post graduate student and once i completed i did not join any medical college as an assistant professor and uh, the very reason was see i'm a firm believer of you cannot do multitasking and achieve excellence so either i would have been a professor joined assistant professor join a medical college or i would have gone into teaching full time in private institutes so i had to make one choice and i made one choice and um, i i still stick to that choice and uh, if if you want to do one thing in your life right even uh, whatever time you have is very less so i'm just doing one thing right just teaching you guys and even after that it's very difficult uh, for me sometimes to tie, uh, find time for myself because i always find some work like uh, these farm cast so i found this as a work as well right i'm doing it for you guys so i don't have much time so why was if you ask why but they they won't ask you anything out of this world for example whatever i teach you they ask you the same things as why for example you'll go they'll ask you all right how do you treat mrsa right so you know what what are the drugs used in mrsa they'll ask how do you treat vrsa right then they'll ask you tell tell me name of some uh, prps right prp you know what is prps right the penicillins which are resistant to penicillin is they are called as prp so name of prps so these are the basic things they ask you whatever we teach so they will not ask you anything out of this world all right all right guys uh, coming to the next doubt sajal das is asking hello sir after giving gt what is the most effective method of solving it should write or just look at the solutions or what sajal das i've covered this many times that uh, you, you can do whatever you want with your gt but the problem is with time you don't have much time so i always advise to dedicate a given amount of time it can be 5 hours 10 hours or 24 hours let us say one day so if i have dedicated one day if i have dedicated one day for you know grand test then what i do is i'll try to cover as as much as possible in that one day and my priority would be starting from those questions which uh, you know i have done wrong so i'll first prioritize those i'll go through them and if time is left i'll go for other and from that you can selectively choose some things which you can try to cover as well right 
and coming to the last doubt for today guys uh, it has been asked by all right so i'm also you can hear my daughter cooing so my wife is busy somewhere so i'm taking care of my daughter as well <laughs> so i'm multitasking basically all right so the last doubt guys ankush singh is asking before this farm cast and uh, i should ask uh, how should we choose branch is it all about money fame interest or something else see guys uh, see choosing a branch ankush i have posted a detailed video in my youtube channel in how to choose a branch right what what are the things you need to look at while choosing a branch right so please go through that video in my youtube channel and you will get a clear idea of how to choose a branch all right guys so i think i need to attend my daughter <laughs> so thankfully she woke up uh, she woke up uh, towards the last or fag end of this farm cast all right guys uh, so that's all for today and uh, if you have any such doubts you can always let me know in the comment box and i'll be more than happy to you know include your doubts in my next farm cast so take care bye bye all the best this is of ranjan with you